So when my leadership mentor took me through the five voices, that is where I first heard the challenge, and, challenge versus support matrix, kind of finding that balance of challenge and support. So I know that the guys that made the giant five voices curriculum wrote 100x leader. So it's kind of cool that these things are coming back up in my mind. And today we're given this scenario where a team member is picking up the slack, like say team member A is picking up slack from team member B, but team member A is getting burnt out because they're having to pick up that slack. So for my experience, I've seen things similar to this, but not quite to this extent. I've seen things where team member A is frustrated that team member B does not do things as well as they do, that it takes them a long time to do something. So I'm currently the supervisor of the inventory department. The inventory department has people that have been in inventory for 10 years and has people that have been in inventory for a couple of months. So typically in inventory, if there's a team lead position open, usually an inventory person would get that because throughout this warehouse, you'll have a top performer outperform the rest around them. An inventory job makes move, opens up. The top performer moves into an inventory position where they understand kind of the behind the scenes of how the product moves around. And then when a team lead position opens up, the top performer that understands the system moves into a team lead position. So the inventory department does have a quite a bit of turnover. Now, it's hard for the team members that are more tenured to have grace with these new team members because these new team members are coming in, being top performers and pulling cartons and pulling pallets. But this is completely different because in inventory, you have to slow down, analyze a problem, find a missing product. And to do that, you have to go through the history of where that is. So it's a completely different mindset and a different shift. And it's also a bit discouraging for a team member being a top performer as an order puller and then going into inventory where you're not the top person in inventory. So it's a different shift there too. So what I would do in this situation here, if, if team member A is taking on the bulk of the workload of team member B, I would go to team member A and I would first take ownership because right now they're feeling a certain way about team member B. So I want to take that off of them because I need team member A to support team member B and they can't support them when they're really frustrated with them. So I would put it on me. I would say, um, obviously team member B has not had the coaching conversations. They either do not understand the expectations or they haven't been given the necessary tools needed to do the job tasks that they're given. So my first conversation was team member A and I will then say, I am going to work with team member B. And that also goes to page 121. It's going to say, when uh, people are keeping people out of the pit of despair, you need time, vision, and encouragement. So going to team member B, it's going to be time. I'm going to invest the time. First, I want to know what they understand the process to be because I could easily tell them what the process is, but I want to know their understanding of it. That way we can go back and fix the training if there is a disconnection somewhere. And then I want to set the clear expectations. Here's what needs to be done. Here's the standard operating procedures. And I also like to do a little checklist, especially if, if someone's new to a process, I want them to do a checklist, step-by-step -step checklist to get you from where you are to where you need to be. And then once I set those clear expectations, I can then start documenting if they fall short of where they need to be again. And then the, the tough part is, is whenever someone keeps falling short or if someone isn't a good culture fit or someone just isn't getting it, you got to keep investing that time and then you, you share the vision. But if they're still not getting it, that's when you got to keep having conversations and document those conversations. I have had team members before that just were not a good culture fit and we couldn't just remove them. I had to have conversations, document conversations. And then once you have so many documented conversations, you can then take that to the team member services department to see if that team member needs to be terminated. Whenever this process is taking place, it's difficult because team member A, I can't tell team member A that these conversations are taking place because that's really honestly none of their business, but team member A is still just taking on the brunt of the workload. So I, I do need to find a way to celebrate team member A. And I, I do often have team meetings where I tell team members how much I appreciate them. I talked before in a previous assignment about the cross training matrix. I bring that up and say, Hey, look at these team members that know how to do everything in inventory and everyone else still has opportunities where they can learn and grow. So sharing that kind of share shows that team member A that I do appreciate. And I do understand how much more they can do than their team members. And then encouragement, that, that was the encouragement. So yeah, that was pretty much page 121, time, vision, encouragement. That's how I would deal with this situation here. But honestly, if, if team member A is doing most of the work of team member B, there is a huge disconnect with team member B. And I would honestly first take on the blame. It's my fault. And then I would try to do everything I can to 
pour into them to try to get them to be where they need to be. And then if they still don't get there, that's when we have further conversations with higher management. So curious to hear any thoughts you may have or any advice you may have for me as I continue to deal with this situation in a much smaller scale on a daily basis. Thanks.